Joining us now for a look at the markets over in Zambia is Chengye Besa, financial analyst at Stockbrokers Zambia. Thanks so much, Chengye, for joining us on the line. Uh, let's go through market performance halfway through this week over on the Zambian Stock Exchange. Hi, Alicia. Uh, this week, the market has, hasn't been very active, but we've seen um, a couple of trades go through in CEC and uh, in Copper Belt Energy Corporation. And this is majorly due to the fact that um, they had announced a, a dividend and their record date is this Friday. So we've seen a couple of trades go through about maybe 70 million kwacha worth and, uh, on Monday and about 64 million worth uh, yesterday. So the, let's see how the week uh, ends. Well, certainly triggering some excitement is the Puma mandatory offer coming to a close and, uh, you know, the, uh, the trade taking place next week, Monday. Uh, take us through that scenario, how investors are feeling about the situation right now, because we know that, uh, you know, minority shareholders haven't entirely accepted uh, that they're, they're willing to hive off their, their uh, minority stakes to BP, that they're looking instead to hold on. Um, Alicia, we've seen, what we've noticed is that uh, a lot of the minority shareholders are not looking to, to sell. So obviously the, the offer closed on Monday and um, postal uh, acceptances ends this Friday, but still we've seen a lukewarm response to people actually wanting to sell their, their shares. And uh, one thing that uh, Puma Energy Zambia had done is they had approached the, in, the local institutional investors to say that if they bought any shares from the minority shareholders, they would be willing to sell those shares back to the local institutional investors at the same price, just so they could stay listed on the Saka Stock Exchange. Uh -huh. So this is still going forward. As come next week, Monday, should any uh, minority shareholders be willing to sell their shares, the local institutional investors that were approached by the company will be willing to pick those up at the same mandatory offer price of 1205 Chege, it's a very telling of sentiment around Puma and its long-term prospects moving forward. Uh, well, um, since the takeover of, of, of Puma, when you look at their 2011 results, there's, there's, there's a big jump from their previous performance up to now. And quite recently, um, they, they released their interim results as well for this year, which were looking really, really good. And I guess this is the motivation that investors are looking to, and that's why they're not willing willing to sell.